We're at up Upper Castle Creek at about 12,100 feet here in the Aspen Zone. And we're here not because we think the world needs yet another extended column test video, but because on southeast slopes at about this elevation, we've had a number of recent natural avalanches, generally all pretty large. And we're curious as to where that is. These have happened all across the state, but in the Aspen Zone, most of the natural activity has been limited to this aspect. And up here you can see, I can certainly feel anyway, this is a very hard snowpack for the most part. Wind slab here, wind slab here, slightly softer in the middle, a little bit of a soft layer right there, a little bit of a soft layer above this old hard wind slab, and then some depth or slightly uh, variable snow depths, but that's what you'd expect if you were skiing up here. Got some. Well, there you go. All right, that column broke pretty deep underneath both of the hard wind slabs. There's a old crust right in here, and right above it are some large grain. They were kind of rounding, but old facets. Old facets, um, likely from uh, early November or early December, late November, up in here when we had our first kind of extended dry spell in this area. And this is probably the layer that most of the naturals are failing on that haven't, that aren't failing on slopes that already avalanched. And right behind us, we can see slopes of a similar aspect above tree line off Mace Peak. Those are much steeper, much more consequential, and those are exactly the kind of slopes I won't get on today because of this persistent slab avalanche structure right here. Okay, so we just did an extended column test and got the whole block to release in a fairly uh, eye-popping sudden collapse on this bottom crust facet combination. We do have two in the snowpack, so we're going to see if we can get the same results uh, to repeat in PSTs. We're going to test the upper crust first. So we got that one to fail. at 25 centimeters over 100. That's not the layer we got to fail in the ECT. We did get this one lower down, so we're gonna give that one a shot as well. And again, fairly dramatic. That lower layer seems to be uh, the one that wants to get our attention. 